Hi, my name is Paul. This is my migration story. My whole life started in Pembroke, Canada. I was only there for 24 hours, but it still counts as my birthplace. My parents live right next door in Deep River, so you're probably wondering why I was born in Pembroke or my parents live in Deep River. Well, that was because there were no hospitals in Deep River, so they had to go to Pembroke to give birth. I wasn't living in Canada very long, so I didn't get to go to school there. And my dad got a job in, in a science workshop in Australia. I didn't feel very sad or happy about moving because I was too young to feel it. But when I arrived in Australia, I felt that it was a calm country, just like Canada, and I felt welcome there. I also felt happy going to university there because it felt like I was actually learning something. My life in Australia was a happy one because, because I had everything I adored within reach of my fingertips. Well, that was until I got my scholarship to China. There was a sudden new excitement that spread straight through my body. I was worried about what my daily lifestyle could turn into. For example, what was I going to eat? Would I make new friends? I thought about this carefully. And I realized, maybe if I adapted to China, it will work out for me. My parents were very happy for me, but I wasn't sure if I was. After I arrived in China, I realized I did like the food, and I did find two friends. I found it fascinating overall. I also enjoyed learning the language. I realized that a lot of the Chinese words relate strongly to their lifestyle. For example, the word for energy is on many Chinese temples and pagodas. But after all this fun, it had to come to an end. As my life in China ended, I felt happy about taking a risk and moving there. I felt happy about making new friends and enjoying the food. But when I moved back to Canberra, Australia, it didn't feel like home anymore. It felt like a strange new country. But still, I felt happy. And soon after, I got my posting to Vietnam. I was so happy, I couldn't stop talking about it for the last six months. I realized that Vietnam was busy and chaotic. But it was also, it also had something different to it, something I didn't expect. I couldn't describe it very well. But as I looked at Vietnam in a different point of view, a more positive way, I, I learned to appreciate the bad things about it. And when the locals saw me, they felt special because they were visiting my, because I was visiting their home country. And they tried to make me feel welcome, and I did. And I always did, whenever I moved country. Even when I moved to Australia, when I was such a young boy. Soon after, soon after, soon before I moved um, to Vietnam, I went to China one last time. I stayed there for three years, and this time, it didn't feel like a new country anymore. But still felt welcome. Thank you for listening.